are you all doing? What we're going up to in this video? Making a bracket for our tiny little indicators. Wiring in the uh, backlight and our said indicators. Then fitting the rear mudguard, fitting the gear lever, fitting the foot peg, fitting the rack. So let's get on with it. Okay, so first job, let's make a bracket for the indicators. So there's the bracket all painted up and fitted. Now let's fit the rear mod guard. There we are fitted. Let's see if the lights work. Side lights, normal lights, brake lights, oh yes, turn signal left, oh yes, turn signal right, perfect, about the horn. Okay then, so I just bought these for my little shop in Wales. Little plastic squares with a sticky back on the back and little grooves for you to put your zip ties through and these you just peel the back off and stick them to wherever you want to run your wires to. And in my case, I've got to use them to keep the wires off my rear tyre. Okay, so like this one we could just Zip tie through. Push the cables into position. Like so, just got the excess of the zip tie off. There we go. There you have it. Keep your wires nice and neat. Right then, let's fit the rack. Right then, what next? Let's 
clean out the rusty fuel tank. So that's all the uh, petrol tank flushed out, put a bit of petrol in it, and we found a really big problem. I took this off. I put a new seal on the top where it screws into the tank, but this seal round here is leaking. I don't know if you could see it. And uh, of course, they're rivets, not screws. Perfect. I've found some kits, but they're from America. And they do come with a little drill bit, so I imagine you drill those out. And they're not going to be here till October. October? Yes, October. Yeah, let me zoom in a bit. See my bodgery. Yes, it is off an electrical appliance plug. We got the plug off the plug socket. Just had an old plug socket put your screw to the wall. Uh, that's one of the screws. Managed to break the uh, nut thing out the back. And that's just a double screw. This I managed to keep the threads on this one, but the drill went off a bit on that one. So I've had to put the little brass nut thing on the back, but as long as it works, who cares? I know it's leaking from the marigold, but I ain't bothered about that. Who said men don't use marigolds? Billy, 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 Billy. So now we can get the tank on the bike. Okay then, let's fit the uh, fuel tank gauge sender float thing. It was absolutely covered in rust but I did the old white vinegar trick. Just left it in soak for one day. Came out perfect. So let's refit this. Okay so I did just make this plate so I could fill the tank with the white vinegar. Dirty 
bit old beet shield so I can remember which way that went Just like that bend these tabs back up another problem. Of course we have another coolant leak. If I put my hand underneath the uh, thermostat body, I'll use this one. Can you see that? it's the uh, gasket around this flange port for the thermostat so let's sort that problem out first tell you what this project has really grinded me into the ground okay then let's drain some coolant off I certainly didn't expect to be taking all this shit off again when I woke up this morning. Never rains. Black on the inside. Guess that must be the postman. Okay, I'm back. Yes, it was the postman. But uh, no parcels for me. And he uh, did leave the front gate open. Cheers, Mr. Postman. I was going to apply for a job as a postman because I thought, well, it would keep me off the streets, wouldn't it? Let's just try and crack this bloody thing up from here. I think I can see the bolt. Can I see the bolt? Jesus Christ. 
Tell you what, when I get this bike MOT, I'm just going to drive it down the Nottingham Canal and push it in. Alright, let's try a bigger ratchet, bigger socket. Well, same size socket, bigger socket body. Come on, don't you do anything stupid. a bit of nervous wee there. I hope this is where it's bloody leaking from and not just one of the pipes. <laughs> It'd just be about bloody look, would it? Come on, final bolt. Here we go. You can see where it's been running down the engine. The reason I found it was because I could see pink stuff on the uh, oil cooler. And I traced it all the way back to up here. Fantastic. Get this bloody seal out. Here we go. This looks like it was leaking before because it's got red gunk around it. Why don't you just check it Johnny before you put it on? Probably because I can't get the bolts on done. Clean all this crap out there. You need to put a load of chewing gum around it, that'll make it stop leaking. It's surprising how dusty a bike gets when you haven't even used it. should do that one. Now just bear with me while I do this one. And I'll be back in a... Okay, there we go. A little bit better. I uh, bought this seal. £1.50. If you go and find the uh, one for the Honda CBR 1000F, they're nearly eight quid. So just take the old seal out, measure it with your verniers, and type it in the search on eBay. You save at least seven quid. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> After saying all that. Oh yes, perfect. I uh, will put some uh, rubber grease on it to hold it into place. Couple of blobs on there. Hopefully it'll help it stick into place. There we go. Okay, so we can whack that back on there. Like so, put the other bolt in the extension bar. Got to have a really steady hand. Just pinch them two up. Back in there. Should 
we didn't even need to take out. Guess blue went on this side, didn't it? Where are we? Blue on that side. Black on that side. Bolt in there. Unbolted there. Tighten that up. Tighten that up. What else we got? Got another bolt here. That must have gone somewhere. Uh, down there, wasn't it? Didn't even need to take that one out either. Either. Neither. Of course you're not going to go back in, are you? You don't want to go back in there, do you? Why the fuck would you want to go back in there? There you see, you've lost again. I've won. Done. Right, put the coolant back in. Whack the funnel in there. Pour this back into there. Might help if you got the camera right, Johnny. Without tighten the thing up at the bottom, I know. Soon. Not in this video anyway. Uh, locked the sheds up last night. Could smell the petrol up. Could smell petrol when I came to this one. Checked underneath the tank. And yes, what we just fixed wasn't fixed. Was the seal was leaking. Don't know if you could see that. Pick it up. cracked and perished so I've ordered another one of those today is the 11th of August and that's not going to be here till the 14th or the 15th so we won't be putting the petrol tank on like I wanted to because also I have got a replacement fuel pump and I wanted to test that out but I'll have to test that out with the old funnel way so let's do that okay then so we found another problem Oh, this is not a very good week for me. Uh, I had suspicions about this battery. I charged it up again yesterday for the second time. And it'll charge for six hours. Left it on the bench overnight, put it in the bike this morning. And all the ignition lights are pretty bright, but why do you press the starter button? The battery is dead. So 
think we can safely say that this battery is a waste of space. Time, money, hope. Oh God. And now you know why I keep thinking about pushing this bike in the Nottingham Canal. Anyway, let's connect the jump pack up again. Right then, so like I say, I've got to replace bed fuel pump, so that's what I want to test to make sure that is working. So that was 35 quid. And uh, if it's not working, I want to send it back. And if it is working, I want to leave feedback. Hopefully it's working. And also I want to check the uh, cooling fan to see if that kicks in when it gets to temperature. So let's get on with it. So yes, fantastic, the fuel pump works. Yes, fantastic again, the cooling fan kicks in. Okay, so somebody did ask about the headlight aim for the MOT to make sure the beam is not too high. But I'll show you how I do it. Pretty simple really, just uh, measure the height of your headlight from the floor. Then whatever the measurement is, put it on your shed wall or any wall. We've got a flat surface level surface at least six foot away from where you put the uh, cross then all you do is line your red light up so it's just below that horizontal and just past the vertical so yes that's all you do put a cross on the wall same height as your headlight move your bike back six foot make sure it's level and uh, line the beam up with the cross so there you go that's this week's video but before we go I'd just like to say thank you to and thank you to cheers guys very much appreciated lots of gold Thank you. Okay, so there you have it. If you're watching this bit, thank you so much for staying to the end of my video. But look after yourself, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you in another life, brother.